Hey, how you doing? God bless. Uh, coming here tonight, about to go to sleep. It's uh, what time is it? It's uh, about one thirty in the one thirty in the morning. Uh, worked overtime tonight, so uh, yeah, coming here. Well, this afternoon I worked. I got home. I got home about twelve, twelve thirty, something like that. But uh, yeah, I'm coming to you tonight. I wanted to make a video. Uh, I hope everybody's doing well. God bless. One thing I wanted to talk about was, uh, yeah, it just came, it just came to me when I was talking. I was listening to a Wednesday night service on my way home from work. Sorry, they have a, a garbage man on outside, so it's a little loud. Uh, but and uh, Reverend Doreen, she was talking about, uh, you know, are you ready? Are you ready? You know, are you ready to meet Jesus? And a couple of verses that she just, you know, I don't remember exactly everything that she said, though, but, you know, a couple of verses. One thing that stuck out of me, and I was, I've been thinking about this for a little while, too. Uh, it's the end of uh, John 16, and it's the last, it's the last sentence. Well, it's the last, last verse, 1633. These things... I have spoken to you so that in me you may have peace. In the world you have tribulations, but take courage. I have overcome the world. It's Jesus talking to the disciples and to us. And uh, in this world you will have tribulations. You will have trials and tribulations, right? You, you, what are you going through? What are you going through now? So yeah, I'm sorry I, I shut my window. Uh, it was a little loud with the garbage trucks. They always come Wednesday night, Thursday morning. But, uh, anyway, so what are you going through now, right? What are you going through? What kind of tribulation are you going through right now? What kind of trials are you going through right now? We're going, everybody's going, they're going through the, this pandemic for the last year or so, right? The last 11, 12, 13 months, whatever it's been. And, uh, you know, what other diseases are you going through? What other, what other things you're going through, financial burdens, you know, uh, heartbreak, right, the heartbreak's a big one, right, we, you know, you can't see, a lot of people can't, you know, you can't see your families and stuff like that, and, uh, it's sad, you know, people can't get together like how we, how we used to, you know, people are frightened, scared, you know, and, uh, but Jesus said, be in good cheer. I've overcome it all. I overcome it all. He did. He overcame it all. Everything that's said, he did it. He, he took care of it. He's taking care of it now. Believe on that. Believe on him. You believe in him and you believe that he's taking care of everything right now. You know, God's taking it. He knows. He knows what's going on. I mean, he didn't leave you, you know. A lot of things people say, why God? Why, why God for this? Why God for that? You know. Something bad goes wrong, you know, even if you don't believe, even if you don't believe in them, and like, oh, why God, why does this happen, why do, why do people get sick, why do people have diseases, and, and, uh, you know, God doesn't want that stuff to happen, but due to sin, you know, that happened, and due to the devil and everything, and this stuff happens, it's happened, you know, what do you, he's saying, he's saying to us, what are you doing? Why are you, why are you getting mad at me for? What are you doing about it? What are you doing about it? Why don't you pray to me and have me and tell me what you, you're you going to do about it. And I'm, I'm going to help you out. I'm going to help you out. That's what he's saying. Right? That's what he wants. That's what he wants. You know? You think it doesn't, it doesn't help. You know, you watch, you read the stories of Jesus in the, in the Gospels, and he, you know, every time he sees somebody sick with something like, something like that, he felt compassion. He felt compassion for him. He doesn't want that to happen. He doesn't want it to happen. No way. Jesus is God. Jesus is part of the Trinity. You know, and uh, they don't want that stuff to happen, but it happens, right? 
And what are you going to do about it? Are you going to sit there and dwell in it? Or, you know, let me tell you a story. You know, uh, my uh, Reverend and uh, Reverend David and his wife Chrissy, the pastor's daughter, uh, I have a little girl, Amelia, and she, uh, Miracle Amelia, born out. She's five, she's five years old. She just turned five. God bless her. And, uh, she, uh, she got diagnosed with a, a, a rare kind of cancer, a childhood cancer, a couple of years ago. And it was just the pastor's family, everybody in the family, you know, and, uh, when they got the diagnosis, they didn't say, why God? They didn't say, why us, why us, why us? They prayed about it and put their trust in them and put their faith in them, right? And that's what they did. They listened to the doctors, but they prayed and they put their trust in, in God. Through all, these, through all these chemo sessions and through everything else that she went through, surgeries and everything, you know, they put their trust in God and today she's in a full remission. God bless her. God bless little Amelia, right? And God did bless her. But they didn't sit there and say, why God? They went through it. They prayed about it. They got together as a family. They prayed about it. They kept going. They did what they had to do with the doctors and everything like that. But they put their faith in Jehovah Rapha, the God of healing. The God of healing. He is the God of healing. And he, was, and he is the God that will take care of it all. And he will. If you put your trust in him and put your faith in him, he will. You will overcome. In this world, you will have tribulations. You will. We all have. We all do. But Jesus said, fear not. I have overcome. Put your trust into the Lord Jesus Christ. And he will help you. He will deliver you. And... I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just telling you from experience. I'm just a regular guy who just wants to talk about Jesus. I know nobody's watching right now. And, you know, like I said, I hope hope this gets out to at least one person. Even if I got one, you know, one view and one person said, you know what? Let me believe on that name. And I just, you know, I just pray for that. I pray for that right now. I pray for every, if anybody listens to this, I pray for you, I pray for your families. I would say, Father, I say, Father, we just thank you for every, for all that you do, Lord. You are the God, you are the overcomer, you overcome sin, you overcome death, Lord. You overcame it all, Lord. And one day you will be back again. And we just thank you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We thank you. I pray for whoever's out there, whoever will watch this in the future or whenever. That you would just heal them, Lord, from whatever diseases and whatever diseases they have, depression, alcoholism, anything that they are going through, anything they are going through right now, that you will heal them, Lord, that you will bring them, and that you will deliver them, that they will call on your name. You say, "Come, come, all who are weary, heavy laden, and I will give you rest." So, Lord, I just thank you, Lord. I thank you for all the people out there today, Lord. We just thank you for giving us another day, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And on that, I will say God bless and good night.